everybody, in today's video, I'm going to be showing you des a design that might be Eastery or one have to be. It really could be worn anytime, but it just has that bright spring feeling. It is an abstract design. It's got flowers in it. It's got all these textures in it, which is kind of the idea behind this video. There's a smooth cream, there's polka dots, there's metallic foil, there's matte, there's glossy, there's the texture, the actual 3D texture of the spider gel. There's just so much texture in these. I love them. I hope you love them as much as I do, and I will see you guys next time. Bye. So we're going to begin. I'm going to show you a couple of these colors. This is the first color. It's called Water Tower. And it is that light, almost white gray that I'm going to use for that smooth area. And it is such a beautiful, creamy consistency. So here's that color. We're going to use that, like I said, just to paint a section. Randomly grab a section of your nail and paint a blob on it. It is basically as easy as that. When you're painting across all of your nails, try to choose a different section to paint this blob. And do, I mean, it depends on what your style, what you want to do, but do approximately a third of of the space of your nail it doesn't have to be like the top third or the bottom third really just any section and then you're going to grab the color and just kind of drag and fill it in the one thing that's kind of fancy about this video compared to most of mine is that for the most part it is in real time there's not much that is sped up about this video so you can really get an idea of the time it takes me to paint when I'm painting these things. So usually when I'm showing you, my videos are about four times the speed, four to six is I would say standard, but this one we're going to just take our time and do slow. This section is a little bit sped up though, just because it's the same. After you have the first coat done, go ahead and do a second coat just to make sure that it has a nice, you know, smooth top to it. Again, this section, this texture, we want it to be smooth. Once you have that done, it's all filled in and smoothed out and looking fantastic. Then we're going to go ahead and grab the darkest color from the new collection from Madame Glam, and it is called High Roller. This collection is the Glamour Fame Power Collection, and so each um, there's a like a whites collection, a reds, and a pinks. So we're just going to be using the reds and the grays, but or the reds and the whites. So after we have this High Roller color, it is an almost black red. We're going to be just adding a section of dots. Again, cover about a quarter to a third of the nail with the dots. You you want it to just have a nice little kind of zone that goes with dots and partially overlap your smooth area so you don't want it to have um, like just these very distinct areas of each thing you want them to kind of overlap and to go together the next thing we're going to be using is the Madame Glam foil gel I'm going to wipe most of the product off of my brush this is going to be for our foil I mean obviously we're using foil gel what else would we do but we're going to be doing this as our foil gel we're going to just very carefully get the tiniest amount of product on that brush and then again kind of randomly just brushed across the nail it isn't going to be a smooth section as you can see the gel is kind of spotty after that's been cured grab a rose gold foil and we're going to be pressing that against the nail it'll only pick up on those areas that have that foil gel and since we applied the foil gel kind of sporadically it'll have a sporadic sort of crackly appearance to the gel we're going to use a cup a coat of the velvet top coat from madame glam which is their matte no wipe top coat carefully applying that over the whole nail i'm going to make sure i sort of float it up and over the foil especially just to have a little bit more protection over the foil after that's been cured as you can see it looks absolutely fantastic with that mat on it i'm going to be taking some spider gel and i'm going to first just try to make a dot of spider gel in a certain location and then after you have that dot you kind of go back to the dot and you pull and stretch the spider gel around to make these flower petals it is not an exact process don't try to make it an exact process sort of have fun with it if you end up where your spider gel doesn't really want to stretch anymore you can go back into the pot of spider gel grab some more and then add it to the original dot that you made but otherwise just keep making these dots like i said this is in real time i don't do things very quickly sometimes i do things a little bit um, I don't know faster if it's something I've done a bunch but I haven't made a bunch of these flowers so I'm going to take my time and really make sure that I, I kind of just enjoy the process and kind of figure it out that's sort of the fun thing about doing something new is that you get to figure it out and while that might be kind of daunting I don't know I enjoy the process so just keep adding these these petals going up and around and trying to get the spider gel to at least make sort of a, a flower shape one thing I would have to say is that this would be significantly easier on somebody that had a nail that had a very large free edge or a very large tip extended past their nail because you would have so much more space to kind of manipulate around without hitting the finger but I do like the way this turned out I hope you guys are enjoy this whole video as much as I did after that spider gel is cured mine doesn't require top coat so it's just good to go and you have that matte versus glossy versus smooth versus textured and polka dots and foil and it's just so much fun and yet it somehow remains kind of elegant and simple so i hope you guys enjoy it and don't forget to click subscribe to my future videos as well